Hey, how's everyone doing there today? This is Undead Nightmare 24, back with a new video, and I hope everyone's uh well and being safe out there during these difficult times, man. Uh, I just want to let let you know I was an exciting drawing contest last night. I had a lot of fun with it, and I just want to send another congratulations to the Dagler Reviews, Ian. There, man. Congrats on congratulations on winning my contest, and. I mean, there was even a couple there, like I could, H&S Collectibles was number two, and then we had Andrew Bellina at number three, so it was a, it was a close race, man. So, just want to thank everyone who participated in it, I appreciate the help and support, and there'll be more contests to come in the future, just to let you guys know, so, thank you everyone who, who participated, and everyone I couldn't get to, I'm sorry, I try to get to everybody that I can. And if I did miss you, I apologize. I try to catch every video I could there, man. So, again, another apology if I missed you on the contest. But there will be others coming in the future, just to let you know. I'll look out the best I can for everyone. So, if you... If I do not catch your video, please let me know any way you can. And, again, thanks to everyone who participated. Anyways... With the, enough with the rambling here. Let's get into my video here. I did get a haul in the mail. Um, it is a pretty good stack, so I'll be going through this shortly. It's a pretty, like I said, pretty good stack, pretty good haul of some stuff. So let's go. Uh, first off, I I just want to let you know I, well, I just got my VCR going again. I didn't have a VCR for a long time. It broke down on me, so I did end up picking up a new VCR. And a family member. Uh, gave me a deal on it so i have vcr my vcr is up and running again so i'm back to picking up vhs's as well so i'll be going through like sometimes vhs tapes dvds or blu-rays or 4k's whatever i pick up so this haul is going to be pretty much mixed it's going to have vhs tapes uh dvds as well as blu-rays uh, i'm not sure if there's a 4k in there i don't think there's a 4k but yeah i did get a pretty good haul so Let's go through it here. We'll start with the VHS tapes. My first one that I picked up here, let me pick that up a little bit so you can see it, is uh, Slumber Party Massacre 2. I got this on VHS. The Blu-rays out of print goes for crazy crazy money, as well as the DVD, so I decided to pick up the VHS. Got a pretty good deal on it. Got Slumber Party Massacre 2. My other VHS is... Prom Night 3, The Last Kiss, and I've never seen this. Maybe I have back in the day, I just don't remember. But I've seen the first two Prom Nights, and they're they're pretty good. So excited to check this out. Prom Night 3, The Last Kiss. And the other VHS I picked up was uh, Forever Evil. It's a little damaged, as you can see, but I only bought it for a couple dollars. But yeah, at least I've never seen this horror film. Slasher right here. And the case is pretty roughed up, but the VHS is in excellent shape. I got Forever Evil on VHS. Okay, now we're going to go... It's just going to be randomly, so... I did get a couple things from Hamilton's books. I got uh, Taxi Driver, Robert De Niro. Uh, I love this film. I, n I didn't have it in the collection, so... I had to pick it up. Uh, if you guys uh, get a chance, go visit Hamilton Books, man. They have some great deals. And I'm not getting paid by them or anything. I'm just giving a request to check them out because they have some great deals. I think I bought this for a few dollars, like three or four bucks. And, okay, and I did pick this one up and wanting to get it. Who Saw Her Die? And this is a Jello film by Aldo Lotto. This one looked like a fun one. I haven't seen it yet, but it's from Arrow Video. Excited to check it out. I believe this was filmed in... 1972. Yeah, this one seemed like a pretty interesting one. I saw her die. Next up, I got this on eBay. The F Funny Man, and I know there's a great edition. A great media book that just got released on this, but I just couldn't afford it now. They've got a good deal on this Blu-ray, so I'm happy with it. I really like the art. Funny Man, you got uh, Christopher Lee in there. I've never seen this film, so excited to check it out. This is a Actually, actually, it's an all-region film, I think, yeah. I thought it was region B. It says all. 
But yeah, funny man. Decided to check this out. Next up we got from Scream Factory. If I could get this pile up. Got a April Fool's Day. And I know I usually go through all these editions, show everything, but I'm just it's gonna be a quick haul video, so I'll show what I can. This is April Fool's Day collector's edition from Scream Factory. It does have the original VHS uh, cover art there. I really dig that. Excited to see this. I haven't seen this film in years. Probably since I had it on VHS. So excited to revisit a April Fool's Day. It does have a few special features. You can see there. But yeah, this cover art's really nice. Like it, April Fool's Day. Next up, we got. I ordered this on Diabolic DVD. Uh, Raw Courage. This is a, I believe, a Scorpion releasing. This one looked like a lot of fun, man. It's pretty much about these guys that go for a jog. They go like on a marathon jogging. For, for pretty long jog, I guess, like a marathon. That they're participating in and they get end up getting hunt, hunted by these mercenaries i've never seen this film but it sounded interesting so they started off as it says they started out running for glory and ended up running for their lives yeah this one sound like an interesting one he has the guy from uh, robocop I forgot what his name is pete can canfield and this is a 1983 film by scorpion which is Raw Courage. And next up I got from 88 Films. Brothers Till We Die. This is an Italian Euro crime film. Really caught my eye, so comes with a nice slip cover. As well as the it has the same art inside and out. As a it's an all-region film. A B and C. It's H D transfer. This one looked like a lot of fun, man. And it's from Umberto Lenzi, I can't even talk right now, um, Umberto Lenzi, man, who made Cannibal Fer Ferox and Eaten Alive, so I'm really excited to check this one out too. Comes with a nice slip cover there. Brothers Till We Die. Next up I got The Headless Eyes. Before you dare, before you dare to see this film, we warn you, it's too hor horrifying for the human eyes. And this one sounded like a lot of fun. It's from Code Red. Is all region as well. It is. I believe it don't have the year, the film there. Not seeing the year of the film, but anyways, this story intrigued me. It says. Arthur, a broke artist, sneaks into a woman's bedroom and tries to steal the money from her nightstand in order to pay his rent. Surprised, the woman mistakes Arthur for a rapist, gouges out his eye with a spoon, then knocks him out of the second story window. After being gawked at by onlookers because of his dangling eye, which he eventually loses, Arthur becomes a serial killer and uses his victim's eyes in his artwork. So this looks like a pretty gruesome film. Just right up my alley. Headless eye. And I believe this was filmed in, doesn't say, 1971. That's the Headless Eye. Really excited to see that one. And next up we got from, uh, I ordered some from Mondo Macabre. And I wanted to add these to the collection as I did get a film a while back. Oh, I forgot what the name was. It was The Wolfman and the Swordsman, something like that. Might have got that wrong, but uh, I got Killer of Dolls. This one seemed like an interesting one. Um, this one really intrigued me, man. It has a real bizarre story. It's basically about a guy that is in medical school and he pretty much sickens at the sight of blood. He ends up like getting, I don't know, if kicked out or leaving and ends up going to his dad where he works as a gardener at this like rich estate and you find out weird stories about him that he he really was raised like a girl and he likes to play doctor but in a real bizarre way i guess he i don't know if he's mutilating people or whatever but i haven't seen it but looked like a real fun film killer of dolls and i got the devil's nightmare 
from Mondo Macabre. I've um, been after this for a while. Looks like a real fun gothic film. Next up from Mondo Macabre, I got Who Can Kill a Child. I've heard good things about this. I haven't seen it. It's like a killer kid movie. Excited to check it out. And next up I got from Fulci, A Lizard in a Woman's Skin for, by Mondo Macabre. Never seen this one, but I am a, a Fulci fan. So I'm excited to check this film out as well. It's like a 70s Jello. Those are the Blu-rays. Now let's get to the DVDs. I picked up this, Surviving the Game, Ice-T, Rutger Hauer. Always enjoyed this film. Used to watch it back in the day on cable. Glad to have this. DVD. Next up we got another Rutger Hauer film, The Hitcher. Love this film. Classic. Excited to revisit it. Always had fun with that one. And next up, this was in my contest. So I actually picked up two copies, so I kept one for myself. It's a Leprechaun 7 film collection. And this was in my contest as, as well, so I added this to the collection too. So those are my pickups. Let me give you a quick recap. We got Leprechaun, 8 film collection, The Hitcher, Surviving the Game, A Lizard in a Woman's Skin, Who Can Kill a Child, Devil's Nightmare, The Killer of Dolls, if I could reach back here, they're falling on me, The Headless Eyes, I got Brothers Till We Die, Raw Courage, April Fool's Day, Funny Man, Who Saw Her Die, Taxi Driver, and my VHS tapes, I got Forever Evil, I got Prom Night 3, and Slumber Party Massacre 2. This is Undead Nightmare 24, back with the VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray haul. Hope everyone's doing well. Please stay safe. Take care of your loved ones and family. This is Undead Nightmare 24. Would appreciate a like and subscribe. Comment as well. And keep it horror, man. Peace.